Lesson six, the yellow corners. Our cube should look like this now. We have a yellow cross. This lesson, we're gonna to learn to complete the yellow corners. You may already have one or two yellow corners in place. That's okay. We are going to use a new algorithm. There is only one to learn this time and it's pretty simple, just two sides to move. Let's get going. Position, yellow on top. Sides to move, right and top only. From the last lesson, we may have some of the corners in place. Our cube should be in one of the following positions. The cross, no corners in place. The tank, two corners in place forming a tank. The bow tie, two corners in place forming a bow tie. The fish, one corner in place forming a fish. See, this is its tail, this is its head. There is only one algorithm to follow for each position, but it's very important to position them in the right way. The cross, it doesn't matter which way we position it. The tank, we always want it pointing to the left. The bow tie, we want it positioned top left to bottom right. The fish, we want it pointing down to the bottom left. Don't worry if you forget, the guide will show you which way to position it. Let's start with the cross. Here's the algorithm. We know this move only involves two side, right and top. And we move them each four times. The right will go up twice and down twice, and the top moves clockwise each time. This is the moves. Up, round, down, round, up, round, round, down. You'll see that the white and the middle are unaffected, but we've moved one of the yellow corners into position. You'll have to do this move several times depending on what you've got. Let's look at the tank. Here's the tank pointing to the left. So we put the yellow on top and we do that same move, but this time we're gonna use the official algorithm. Right up, top clockwise, right down, top clockwise, right up, top clockwise, top clockwise, right down. Now, this has formed the cross again. That's okay, we just keep doing it until we get to the fish. Right up, top clockwise, right down, top clockwise, right up, top clockwise, top clockwise, right down. Now, you may have ended up with the fish, the tank, or the bow tie. As long as you position them in the correct position and do that same algorithm, eventually you'll end up with the fish. It's the same move each time and eventually you'll get to the fish. There are different algorithms that you can learn depending on the cross, tank and bow tie, but we're not trying to confuse you. This is simple, designed for the elderly, but we think it's the easiest way to learn and remember. Once you know how to complete the cube this simple way, you can practice and learn quicker ways to do it. This is just a simple way to remember. Now we've got to the fish, we're only one or two moves away. So we put it back on top, we do that same move. Up, round, down, round, up, round, round, down. Here's our fish, so we position it, bottom left. This is where we wanna to get to, where there's a yellow one here. And then if we do that move one more time, up, round, down, round, up, round, round, down. What you can see is we've now completed the yellow side. You can practice this lesson without having to start from the beginning. If you do the algorithm you've just learned with the yellow side completed, it will take you back to the beginning of this lesson. When you're ready, we'll see you for lesson number seven.